So here are the thrust test results for the DYS Fire 2600 kV motor. It is a 2206 size motor, so it's it's performing pretty close to other 2206 motors that I've tested. Uh, a good comparison would be with the uh, CMX V3. Uh, that being one of the strongest motors I've tested. Uh, on the on the five inch prop, uh, the five by four by three, uh, it, it gets pretty close to the CMX. Uh, it's it's about uh, seventy grams lower on the amount of thrust, but also the uh, the amp draw it, it, on the DYS is about five amps lower. So it's a little bit more efficient uh, at that thrust level uh, I it, it'll be kind of hard to feel to feel that difference so uh, most important thing is uh, transition times you know it's the how fast you can get the thrust going and I, I don't I don't test that I don't you know I don't have the capability to test that uh, quad McFly uh, test those parameters uh, he does a really good job at testing motors over at his uh, website uh, mini quad testbench.com uh, it's a, always a good site to visit and check out uh, his test he's got a lot of tests on there so I hope you find this uh, test data useful ultimately only flying these motors will tell you the whole story uh, keep in mind that uh, these static thrust numbers are somewhat inflated. Uh, they're always going to be a lot higher uh, both in thrust and amps. Once you get in the air, the amps will be lower by anywhere between 25 and 35 uh, percent. Thrust will also be lower because there's a whole bunch of other factors that influence uh, uh, thrust in flight. Uh, uh, let's also hope that DYS uh, keeps good quality control on these motors. Uh, it's only to their benefit so we can come back uh, to DYS looking for motors for our quads. Thanks for watching and as always uh, looking forward to bringing you more motor tests in the near future. So See you next time.